I do critique and I'm reviewing the Larissa by Belle Madame made by Evan Lippert and the Bisco Force and I might go over it because right now it's being hung in the new Carl H. Um, I tried to recurl it because uh, I'm in a room with high humidity because in my bedroom myself my three dogs and my iguana who requires high humidity now this is me no makeup nothing um just wanted to show you the wigs and this is how i look so so be it but um this wig called larissa was not cheap but it wasn't on the very high end that spike, it wasn't on the high end either, um, and definitely worth it. The cap construction on this is phenomenal. You have your lace front, and then you have your mono part on the inside, if you could see that. There's just some space to move it around a little bit. It's definitely not a full mono top, but definitely gives you enough that you could change the part around. It's not stuck in one position where you uh, can't do anything with it. But um, Belle Madame, whoops, Belle Madame, and it's the Larissa Super Front. Hope you can see that. And. Um, if I could see it, then you could see it. There you go. Of course, it's backwards, but it's a Larissa Super Front and made by Belle Madame. And I love this. I, I think it's perfect. Um, the color, the rooting. I mean, you could see that nice rooting in there. It is gorgeous. And the lace front is spectacular. This came highly recommended, and I'm glad I bought it. My doctor actually uh, turned me on to wearing wigs because of the condition of my hair. So, let me just throw that back on, nice and easy. Give it a little pull down in the front. For some reason, when I wear these wig caps, I don't get them on properly. I do much better when I'm just wearing my bald head. But um, this is Larissa. She's got gorgeous color in it. I mean, if you like auburns or red, this is the way to go. I mean, it's just gorgeous. You can see the coloring and the rooting and everything about it. It's spectacular. But uh, this is the Larissa Super Front. And you could see the construction of the lace front and the parting, they really have an appearance that that's your scalp. I know there's some tricks you can do to uh, put some makeup on it or some powder to better match your scalp, but I find that my scalp comes through pretty decent, uh, even though I'm wearing a cap. So, there's no need for me to play around with it. I'm sure if you wear a cap that lets your skin color come through, uh, it'll be perfect for you. And they do sell different kinds of caps uh, for blondes, uh, brunettes, uh, for dark-skinned people. So, y you're pretty much guaranteed to have it look very real if you choose any of those colors. Um, they don't make them specifically for reds or anything like that, but as long as it's a light enough cap and you have light skin, I think you're going to be fine. I think this is just perfect. But this gets my I want to have curly hair thing going. And even after washing, I mean, the curls come right back. There's really no work that you have to do on it to keep it looking like this. I have washed this and uh, I've been using different products trying to try them out 
just be sure don't use any human products on your synthetic wigs. Uh, this is completely synthetic and I'm not sure if it's heat friendly but I try not to touch my wigs. Um, I did just purchase the curling system to bring the life back to the curl. I haven't had to use it yet because I've gotten pretty lucky. Um, it seems like, except for this one part right here, it's kind of straight compared to the rest of it. But if you just push that back, I Duke. Duke, do you approve of my wig? Do you? You like Mommy Bold better? Yeah, he likes to lick my head, so I'm not sure why. But uh, he likes to lift my head when I don't have a wig on. Very strange, but it's Duke. But uh, highly recommend this. Again, Larissa by Belmadon, uh, Ellen Villy Collection. And this is in Cherry Rooted. And if you like reds, highly recommend this color. I think I was born to be a redhead. I don't know why. The powers that be did not work with me that way, but definitely find that my skin color and just my personality, I'm a redhead. But I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like it below. Uh, please subscribe if you're interested in looking at some more videos of my life, my experiences, my opinions. Um, Try not to get political. I don't really want to do that. Uh, not the thing this really anything I want to get into. But just an onion, honest opinion about stuff that I've worn. Uh, not new out of the box, but something that's been through some wear and tear. Um, I don't know if I put it that way. I didn't really know tearing, but it's definitely been worn quite a bit. And you could see it has nice movement. <coughs> Apparently my dogs are having a little bit of a tiff over some snacks on the bed. But um, this is it. This is the Larissa. I love Ellen Villy. Um, my doctor kind of turned me on to Ellen Villy and her collections. And I think almost everything I own now is by Ellen Villy. Uh, pretty much. Uh, I've tried a few others, you know, not always happy, so I go back to what I enjoy, but this is a really nice wig, and I think anybody would be happy with it. Um, I think it would go with almost all face shapes, although I can't tell you what mine is anymore. It's starting to look like a square... Let's pull back a few years. <laughs> But my face shape is changing since I'm aging, and I'm getting my little jowls down here. <laughs> See, just dogs aren't the only ones who get jowls. But um, I love this wig. I highly recommend it. And it's, you know, pricier than some wigs, but well worth it in the end. The quality just can't be topped. And the appearance of it actually growing out of your head... I mean, what more could you want out of a wig? But have a great night, great day. I'm not sure when you're watching this, but I enjoyed doing the video, and hopefully I'll see you for my next one. Bye!